Are you ready? Hello friends and welcome to another episode of Random Guy Who Likes Pigeons records himself doing things and people watch it for some reason. So to make this set look more amazing, I have added some beautiful purple and blue cups, my channel's colors. And today I will be doing this sweet poppin' cooking. It's the sushi one. Let me get a close-up of it. Perfect. There's the back. And there's the front. Alright, I'm pretty sure it's time to get started. So let's do this. All right, we got our poppin' cooking right here. And we are ready to do this. So, let's open it up. This. Okay. Okay, we got the outer instructions slash plate piece. So, let's open the packaging. Okay, so we got all the ingredients. Perfect. We got like brownish purple packet, the golden packet, the orange packet, the green packet, the blue packet, the brown packet, the eye dropper, and the chappy stuff. All right, let's see what step one is. Okay, so step one is to take the blue packet and pour it into the water to make rice. To number one. Mmm, smells good. I <laughs> missed most of the rice. Alright, now it's time to stir it. It'd be like a professional sushi set. Okay, we got our weird little rice ball right there. Let's see what step two is. Okay, so step two is to pour water into that little slot and then pour in the yellow packet. Okay, I'm gonna pour it in. Okay, yippee, I forgot to pour in the water. Fantastic. Uh oh, I think, uh, I think that I maybe put just a little bit way too much water in. Whatever, we'll find out when it's done. But for now, I gotta let that one sit. Alright, the yellow slot is complete. Step three is to do the red slot. Oh yeah. And this time I will pour in the water first. Whee! Red packet! Stir it up! Okay, we got the red one done too. It's time for the next step. Alright, so the next step is to take this little thing and stretch it to fit this thing. All right, let's see what it tastes like. Uh, I'm just kidding, it smells good. Okay, okay, now that we got that, we put it aside and let's do the next step. Okay, so the next step is to pour the blue and yellow into this slot. Okay, so green goes into A and orange goes into B. Okay, I'm gonna pour this one into here. Away at, before I do that, I should put the water in. I'm smart. Okay, n now I'll pour in the green packet. Okay, now we stir it up. Okay, we got that one in there. Okay, orange packet goes in the... Okay, water in here. All right, so let's stir it up. Ooh, this is weird. This one's real weird. Okay, now it says the next step is to put the orange into the blue, I guess. All right, let's do it. I'm just going to suck up a little bit of this one. I'm going to squirt it in this one. Oh my gosh, they're solid. They're turning solid. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. They're turning into solid little gel walls. How the heck is that possible? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is wonderful. Let me do that again. Wait, what if I just like squirt it into a stream? Oh, it makes a worm. It makes a big old worm. Okay, I basically filled up all that I could with those little gel balls. Okay, let's see what the next step is. Okay, now we got the little platter plate thingy and we're gonna put the food on it. So, first I'm gonna do the yellow one. All right, so this one goes on the green, and then I'm gonna take my yellow and lay it down right on top of the rice. Oh man, that turned out good. I'm actually glad I put that extra water in. Okay, and I'm going to wrap this right around it just to keep it in place. Oh yeah. Okay, the first one is complete.
Okay, now the next one is the red one, which is gonna be just a little bit harder since this one isn't nearly as clean as the yellow one. Ah, but it still came out good. All right, this one goes here and the little red topper goes right here. Ha. This one's a lot smaller. All right, and next we're going for the little fish cake. So I'm gonna wrap this all the way around. Okay, and we got it wrapped around. Now I'm gonna scoop all these little jelly balls onto it. And there we go, that one has a tail. Okay, now that's done. Now the last little thing. We're gonna put the, this here, and then put some red some yellow, and a couple of fish eggs all right on top there. All right, now it's time for the sauce. So I put some water in cup one. All right, now I'm just gonna take my brown packet and pour it right in. Okay, now that I got my sauce, I'm gonna take it and squirt just a little bit onto this little bowl for it. All right, and the very last thing, I'm just gonna take a couple of these little leftover fish eggs and put them straight on to the last plate. A little sauce. And my plate is done. Wonderful. All right, we got the original here. And this is how mine looks. Not as good, but it's a close second. <laughs> So we got the yellow one right here. We got the little fish fish cake right there. We got the red one. Oh no, it fell over. We got the sauce and we got the fish eggs. Oh yeah, pretty good. Oh man, all right. Super excited. It's time to taste this little thing. Oh yes, I'm super excited. My work is finally paid off. I get to taste it. Okay, let's see. Mm, let's see. I think I'm gonna start off with the little cake. Oh. Okay then. All right. Next, we're doing the little red, red thingy. Okay. Now we're doing the little cake with all of the little fish eggs on top. <laughs> all right. Oh. Mm. oh my gosh. They're actually like jelly now. <laughs> they're, they're solidified. That's... <laughs> and last, but not least, the yellow thing. Thank you friends for watching, and if you enjoyed, then please hit that like button. I'll be doing more poppin' cooking soon, so subscribe and stay tuned to see when I upload a new video. Alright friends, stay cool.